Hello guys, this is Dabs Bell. In this video, we are going to take a look at how to make our informative master page um, that is a navigation responsive. So to get started, I'm going to open my web builder and I'm going to see how best I can go about this. First of all, I'm only going to need the index page because I'm going to make this responsive. I'm not going to spend time to make the about and service plus the contact page responsive. So I'm just going to get rid of them in my project. So let me just get rid of the contact page i'm going to get rid of the services page as well as the about page now i'm going to only stick with the master page as well as the index page starting with the index page i'm going to create my breakpoint so i'll go to my breakpoint manager so let me just go to my breakpoint manager and then create my breakpoint here so i'm going to create a breakpoint for 320 pixels i'm going to create for 480 pixels um so let me just enter 480 pixels here I'll go ahead and create for 768 pixels. So let me just do that here. I'll go ahead and hit on OK and hit, hit on OK as well. Now I have my breakpoints created over here and I can navigate to each and every one of them using my breakpoint marker. So I'm going to go to 768. That is what I have here. And I'm going to reduce the size of this particular um, carousel. So let me just start with repositioning the items I have inside here. So let me just move this a little bit to this position. Do same for this. And I'll do the same for this one too. Now reposition this to 768 pixels. That's the width of it. And then I reposition the items I have inside it. So let me just make sure it is centered and it's in the middle of the carousel. That is horizontally. So let me just um, do the same for this one. Let me go ahead and do the same for this. Okay, so now let me go to the bottom and um, reduce the width of this particular test I have in here. So this size is going to be okay. And I'm going to change the size of this to 768 pixels. I'm going to change the size of um, reposition this too. Now I'll switch to the next breakpoint and do the same there. So I'm going to start with repositioning and resizing the object I have in here. So I'm going to resize this. This is okay. I'm going to resize this also. So this is going to be fine. So let me just put that in here. Now I'll make sure they are centered and then position in the middle of my carousel. So I'm going to do the same for the next slide. So let me just copy the size of this, come to my next slide and then apply it to this particular test. I'll, let me just do the same for this one to get a width for it. Then uh, let me just hit an OK expand this a little bit and let me just undo this undo it again undo it again to get my actual size so I just reduce the width of it manually so let me just do it one more time and then um, undo again let me just undo okay so here we go I'm going to reduce the size of this manually I'm going to move this to the middle making sure I select all the three items I have here and then center them and then move them to the middle of my carousel so let me just go to the third one paste the size i copied from the previous um, slide and reduce the size of this holding on the shift key select all three and then position them in the middle of my carousel here i'm going to change the width of this particular carousel to 480 pixels i'll go ahead and hit on enter and make sure i have my items um, position in the middle of it so that is it yeah let me just do the same for this and move it a little bit to the bottom okay here we go and then this one also okay here we go i'm going to change the size of my test here before i do that let me just expand my layer a little bit and then reduce the width of my test also go ahead and reposition it here i'm going to change the size of my Carous, uh, my layer here which is going to be 480 pixels so here we go now i'm going to go ahead to the 320 pixels and do same so i'm going to change the size of this i'll go ahead and shrink the width of this particular test holding on the shift key select all three position them in the middle that is center them and then put them in the middle uh, in the middle of my carousel so i'm going to go to the next one let me just copy the size of this test i have in here 
do same for this particular test i'll go ahead and apply it and then shrink the width of this particular test i'll select three for the three here arrange them that is align them to the center of each other then position them in the center of my carousel so i'll do the same for the last one i have in here so let me go ahead and reduce the width of this one also so put it on the shift key select all three and then position them in the middle of my carousel here so let me just make sure it is in the middle of my carousel so i'm going to go ahead and change the width of this to 320 pixels now I'll double click on my carousel and i'm going to enable the responsive option here which is under full width so i'll do that and hit on ok now i'm going to expand this layer here and then change the size of this particular test i'm going to reduce the size of this and then move it to this particular position let me just go ahead and reduce it again so this is okay and let me change the size of my layer to 320 pixels now let me scroll down to make sure everything is okay let me expand the height of this particular layer a little bit now i'm down it's the index page i'm going to continue to the master page so this is the master page and then i'm going to start with creating my breakpoint so come to my breakpoint manager hit on the add and create for 320 pixels i'm going to create for 480 pixels and i'll continue to create for 768 pixels so i'll go ahead and hit on ok hit on ok so switching to the 768 pixels i'm going to select my buttons i have in here and then move them a little bit to the right hand side i'm going to shrink or change the size of this particular layer to 768 pixels i'm going to do same for this layer let me just re undo the uh, change in position so let me switch back to my default uh, position for it now let me go ahead and change the size of this okay because i have some layers in there the size is not going to change so i'll do for these layers when i'm done i'll go and show the object i have inside and reposition them and then um, re resize my layer i have in there so i'll come back to this layer come to my object manager and i'm going to show for my um, layers i have inside here so first of all i'm going to reposition this one so this is okay let me just move a rule here to help me a guide to help me with my positioning so i'm going to go back and hide this one I'll come to my services and I'm going to move this to the services, making sure it aligns to the right hand side of the services button. Let me make sure, let me move it two pixels down. Okay, that's okay now. I'll come and hide it back. I'll go to the contact and then let me just do this. Okay, here we go. Let me move it two pixels down and then show for the about and then reposition that also to two pixels down as well. Now I'll hide that and shrink the size of this particular layer which is containing my heading object so i'll continue to my 480 pixels and then i'm going to move this a little bit closer to each other so that i can have space to position them let me select all of them holding on the shift key move them here i'll make sure uh, they are positioned in the middle because there was a movement now let me move that here because i'm um, there isn't going to be enough space for my uh, that is my logo here i'm going to move everything a little bit to the bottom and then expand this particular layer to the top and then reposition my logo in here so let me expand this a little bit this is okay let me move, move it some few pixels to the bottom now i'm going to select these objects and then i'm going to position them in the middle of the layer so i right click on this and position it horizontally um, let me just undo that and resize my layer before doing that so i'm going to resize this to 480 pixels right click on this and position it in horizontally in the layer i'm going to expand the layer which is containing the heading object a little bit to the top make out make sure it doesn't hit the edge of this particular um, section that is the canvas then i'm going to reduce the content placeholder that's the size of it so let me just select the content placeholder the size is going to be 480 by let me just 480 by 3 to 9 pixels let me undo this one i'll move this as a content placeholder to the top to hit the bottom edge of this particular layer i'll make sure i move this to hit the bottom edge of the content placeholder and then before i do this let me just move this in here 
and resize this to 480 pixels that's a width all right click on it and then center it horizontally in this layer now coming to the hidden layers let me just start with the first one so with the home all i'm going to do is to move this in here so let me make sure i position it in the middle of the page so i do that and um, let me just get a position for it so let me click on this get a position and then hide it so i'm going to come to my object manager i'm going to hide this i'm going to show for the services i'm going to change the position for it using the same position i'll go ahead and hide this i'll come to my contacts i'm going to change the position for that i'll come here and hide it and i'm going to do that for the about layer as well so i'll go ahead and um, let me just undo there was a move so i i undo that and then hide this particular layer now I'll go ahead and shrink the size of this particular layer i have in here so i'm going to re reduce the size of this to 480 pixels so that is it for this particular session i'm going to continue with the 320 pixels breakpoint starting with the 320 pixels i'm going to expand my layer a little bit and then position my font or some that is uh, my logo in the middle of the layer so i'll come back to correct that now i'm going to reduce the width of this pattern a little bit and then change the height of it to 30 pixels now i'm going to copy this new size and apply it to the rest of the buttons i have in here so let me just apply it to this one i'll go ahead and apply it to this one also now i'm going to move them to each other so i have these three making sure they are put, uh, that is in the middle then i bring it to my the middle of this layer here now i'm going to move this to the bottom now i'm going to change the size of this layer to 320 pixels that's the width and then i'm going to expand it a little bit more i'll move this to the bottom okay so it's aligned to this one let me close this a little bit i'll go ahead and then change the size of the content placeholder which is going to be 320 pixels that's the width now and make sure this is positioned in the middle of my layer here i'm going to do the same for the copy right or the footer which this is going to be 320 pixels and then position this in the middle of it now i'll come to my hidden um, object so i'm going to start with uh, the services let me just um, hide the services and go to the home section i'm going to start with the home so i'm going to move this a little bit to the bottom i'm going to expand this that's the content placeholder and i'm going to expand the layer containing the hidden object so i'm going to move this a little bit to the bottom the bottom here and then i'm going to do some repositioning so let me move this a little bit to the top move the test i have in here to the bottom and then move my close icon to the right hand side like this and then i'll go ahead and shrink the size of this particular layer now i'm going to position the items in the middle of it so let me just do that and then reposition this particular making sure um, let me just because it's in the layer it's not going to be in the middle so let me just do that manually so here you go let me just do that right right so here you go i'm going to copy the new size for our that is um the layer i have in here but before i continue with that i'm going to show the services i'm going to move it to be in line that is have the same height so i'm going to select this holding on the shift key select this one and then move it to the top so i'm going to go ahead to expand this to have the same height as this then i'm going to position this here and then i'm going to move the test here to have the same position just like this i'm going to move this here and then i'm going to apply the size which i copied earlier to it now i'm going to select everything here and making sure their position in the center of the layer so i'm done for this so i can move this let me just keep this here let me just hide this because i'm done with that i can hide that before i hide it let me just copy the position for it so let me do that i've done that so let me just hide this i'm going to apply the position i copied to this one and then i'm going to show the next layer so i'm going to show the contacts uh, let me just undo this show the contact move this to this particular position making sure it is um, aligned to the top now i'm going to expand the height of this i'm going to move this a little bit here and move the test to the bottom here i'm going to bring the close icon here and then i'm going to copy the size of this layer 
and apply it to this. So I'm going to go ahead and then change the size of this. I'm going to select all these three objects I have in here and position them in the middle. Now I can go ahead and hide this one. So let me just do that. And then position this. Uh, let me just undo the hide and copy the position for it before I hide it. So I'm going to copy the position. Then I'm going to hide this one. So I'm going to hide this one. Select this one. I'm going to apply the position to it. Now I'm going to do it one more time. That is um that is the resizing of the object and repositioning of the ob of the object. So I'm going to hold on the shift key, select this one, come to arrange, align to the top. I'm going to expand the height of this and then move this, making sure it's in line with what I have at the left hand side. And then reposition this also. So let me just do that. Now I'm going to copy the size of this and then apply it to this. So let me select all my objects and then position them in the middle. So I'm going to go ahead and hide this. Before I hide it, let me just copy the position for it. Come back to my object manager, hide it, and then come to the about layer. Change the position for it and then go ahead and hide that also. Now I'm going to change the size of the layer containing the hidden object. So this is going to be 320 pixels. That is it for this particular section. Now let's go ahead and preview this in our browser and see how it's going to look like. So I'm going to preview this in my browser. So here you go. Let me start with my breakpoints. So I come to the developer and then responsive design mode. So starting with, um, let me just start with 768. Let me on take this away so starting with 768 pixels let me scroll and make sure everything is okay here now as you can see we have that on our 768 pixels breakpoint everything is okay here i can close this so i can move over this and see it now let's continue to the 480 pixels so as you can see we have everything rightly done here we can close it also now let's continue to the 320 pixels so as you can see, we have that here. We can close it. We have this here. You can close it. You can choose to rearrange your buttons anyhow you prefer it. So this is how I'm going to do. I have done mine. You can do yours in a different way. You can close this, show this, and close it. Now, on a mobile phone, you probably may not have the chance of using a cursor. So what you can do is to tap slightly tap your button. Then the effect is going to show. Now, there may be challenges, some challenges that you're likely to face when you are dealing with responsive mode using events. So let me just show you something. I'll come back to my web builder and then go to my tool section. Under tools, I'm going to go to the options. Now, when you come to HTML, sometimes you have that is generate external JS file for page specific script as well as move JavaScript to the end of your page. If you have this check, sometimes you may be running into issues. So if you you try doing this and you had issues probably just come to this section uncheck everything you have here and just leave this that is a generate css uh, external css style sheet for page specific styles and i think your page should work probably fine thank you very much for watching this tutorial bye for now